how to answer 34 questions in rc you don't i scored 99.2 last year in rc i scored i answered about 23 24 questions got one or two of them wrong or 26 questions and then got three of them wrong if i'm not wrong i am not saying you should not look to get 99.9 .9. My point being, uh, again the 23 number is a number that was applicable for CAT 19, that number is not applicable for CAT 18, might not be applicable for CAT 20. So that is an imaginary example number, right? So don't get hung up on that one number. But the example is that you don't have to attempt all questions to get where you got to go, right? Uh, sometimes I go to the extent of unmarking questions that I find slightly unnerving. I am not sure about this, maybe if I keep that answer my scores will go down then what i do is i go there i take effort to unmark those questions and then come out most cases one of the two happens either the last two options i i learned with time to figure out what is the right option because even if you have shorter shorter down to last two options if you think about it there is some difference between the last two options either one is right one is wrong or one is a trap where it looks like it is right but it is wrong or sometimes very rarely both are right options but among which you don't know what to pick but you got to pick the best answer among the two right options so have this in mind right so one way of thinking about it is finding the better option among the two one could be wrong one could be right or both could be right but you got to pick the better option that is one way of going about it the other way is i marked some answer but there is constant battle inside my head that says b c b c c b b c right i am really pissed off at that moment what i do is i go back to that question i unmark that question i take that b c battle out of my head put it out and then i go on solving other questions right because you have spent 13 minutes reading a passage and next four minutes answering three questions doesn't mean you have to answer the fourth question if you are sharp enough you will skip that question that is what brilliant people do that is what people with a great temperament will do so learn from that experience skipping questions is fabulous always skip questions whenever you can right